PR Rules the Playbook is Hope Katz Gibbs' guide for entrepreneurs. This book is designed to help small business owners get the visibility they need to help their business grow. The founder of Incandescent Public Relations and the author of the playbook, Hope Katz Gibbs, is back with us today to share more of her advice. This time you're going to be talking about networking wisely. So networking isn't just networking, it's b about being wise how you do it. So tell me more about that. Well, with everything in PR that we've talked about, in PR rules the playbook and mm -hmm. how we advise our clients is strategy. Strategic public relations is key, and that, of course, includes networking. So everyone knows that you have to go meet people, right? right? You can do it online, but there's nothing better than meeting people face to face. So you have to figure out where to be, where your customers are so that you can get customers, potential vendors, possibly employees, and also make some friends. And time management when it comes to this is important, which I'm guessing you mean don't go to everything. Right. Okay. I think that when you start out in a business that you think, all right, I need to be everywhere and meet everyone, but you realize pretty quickly that now you're not working on your business at all. Right, true. Right? And you, the follow-up is also pretty important mm -hmm. to that. So what we recommend is being strategic about the return on investment. So what does that mean, though? Okay, so this is actually something you can calculate. So say you want to join three networking groups. Mm -hmm. How much does that cost okay. every year? So say it's for $500. Right, right, right. Then add to that the amount of money you're spending to attend the events, and they tend to cost between $10, 25 50 depending on the event. Right. But the really important part of this is to calculate your hourly rate times the number of events that you're attending oh. so that you know how much you're investing your time in it. Then add all that up and you have how much you're spending a year on networking. So the key to that is to assess it. So if you're spending 2,500 and you're making 25,000 from the people that you meet, fantastic. Right. If you're spending 25,000 and making 2,500, not so good. Right, and when we talk about these events, I mean, it, it's good to talk about return on investment, but when you're talking about time management and whether you should go to an event, how do you really know if it's going to be worth your time? It's, you know, experience. Mm -hmm. You really have to go. I mean, sometimes chambers of commerce are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Sometimes women in technology, Ladies America. You have to go see where you feel good and where you're making the proper connections. I think we've all gone to events where like a... Did I really need to spend my time doing that? Right. But then there are others where you go, that was fantastic. Right, or you get some sort of feedback for your own career that enhances what you're doing. Okay, exactly. so it's not just looking at the bottom line either. No, and you really have, it's a, it's a gut feeling as right. well, but I think having that return on investment calculation is also important. Do you have a good opening line when you go to these things? Ooh. Do you're like, hi, I'm Hope. Like, <laughs> how, what, what's your, what do you recommend? So I think that elevator speech, you have to have that 30 second elevator speech, and we talked about that in a previous mm -hmm. segment. Um, you know, you go in and you are be authentic, uh -huh. but you also want to quickly tell people what you do so that they go, oh, tell me more. Right. So whatever that is, you know, figure out what you want to say that'll hook them. Well, you always give us a little bit of homework. So what's our homework for this month? I'm guessing that it's something to do with that elevator speech. So when we go into these events, we know who we are and how we can be authentic. Exactly. And that's part of the strategy, right? So know who you are, where you are, why you are there. So that's the strategy. Be strategic about it and assess it. Step number two really is to think about where you are going. So in 2011, we created incandescentnetworking.com mm -hmm. as one of our services because we wanted to tell people from New York to Miami, these are the great business networking things. So, okay. And also when you travel. So check out a website like Incandescent Networking or some other place where you can see where you aren't okay. so that you have a good assessment. And then once you look at it, really step back and take a look. And if you say, you know, this isn't working, think about what you might be able to do better by looking at all the events, doing the return on investment and assessment, and then just using your gut instincts. Right. Yeah. I always like when I go to an event and I know nobody there, I feel like this is the right room because I keep seeing like sort of, you see the same sort of characters over and over again. So Absolutely. when you're in a room that you don't know anybody, you can stretch a little bit too. Totally agree. And having that sort of, I want to go in there and meet people. Mm -hmm. And also for introverts, this is kind of a tip, because introverts hate to know. Yeah, right. So what we want to do is that It's like we torture for them. Totally <laughs> torture. So we, we kind of try and ramp them up slowly. Okay. So I say, when you go to that first one, meet one person, bring one business card home. Second time, two business cards, and then expand it. And also, what do you do with those business cards? Put them in your database for that networking, which is step two, create a gr great newsletter. So now you have That's a database right. that grows based on everybody you meet. Excellent, thank you so much, Hope. My pleasure. We'll see you next month, too. Yes. <laughs> More Let's Talk Live's coming up. Stick with us right here.